Hello and welcome to the daily guidance for today. So I'm going to get straight into the message. We're starting with the energy oracle. Please give me a message for today. This is a re-record. I already recorded today's daily, but I was told to record it now, re-record it. So that's why it's delayed today. There is a particular message that needs to be heard at a particular time. So that has a lot of relevance. Time has a lot of relevance. When I say time, I mean like um, alignment with the other realms. Yeah, like um, where we are in contrast to where the other realms are. That's what I mean by time. Like it has to be done at a specific time. We call it time. They don't. I hope that makes sense. I think it does. Like in order to be in alignment where the other realm is, it has to be done at a specific time in our realm. So that's what I mean by time. The world is the first card. So awareness, like um, globalization, something grand, something big, wide scale, I'm seeing expansion, bird's eye view, the bigger picture, the world. Okay, let's see what else we get. Okay, storm warning. So I feel like there's a change that's going to affect everyone that's really soon. It's approaching. So I'm feeling like um, there's something you need to know, like to be prepared. So don't be alarmed. But I feel like there's something they're wanting you to pay attention to. Maybe right now you want to see what's happening around the world. So right now would be a good time to pay attention to what's happening around the world. Mainstream media will not be reporting on this. Or it's not accurate. If you're getting it from mainstream media, it won't be it won't be uh accurate. So this is something you're going to have to like search for, but there's things happening around the world. It's telling you of something approaching and it's going to affect everyone. So that's that. Tell me more. The sun. After it, after it, everything will be, something's going to be exposed, but I feel like after the storm comes peace and happiness like it ends well so don't be alarmed but it's like a re like we begin again so um before i did this reading because i sat down like an hour and a half ago to do it and then i was led to go do other things so before i did the reading I was like uh, watering my plants. I was, you know, clipping the ends off of my flowers, uh, changing the water out and uh, giving them some light. And as I was doing this, like the flowers will give you certain messages. Like for me, flowers, when I look at them, they give me a certain feeling like they're talking to me. And I was just getting that everything's okay. Like, um, doubt will be released like i'm feeling like this is globally to everyone everyone if you're having doubt you're dealing with worries you're dealing with what's next it's going to be okay and i'm getting that feeling here with the sun so it's like don't worry 
It's a calming energy. Um, also, looking back, something makes me, like right now I'm feeling like I want to look back. Looking back. So I don't know that means something. It's like um, seeing how far you've gone. And we're going to see this on a worldwide level, like where we're coming from, where we're going. It feels like there's um, something that's going to occur that you need to be prepared for. But it leads to, I feel like everyone uniting, unity. It leads to like neighbors helping neighbors. The things that separate us being just, it's almost like it's gonna be a non-factor. Like the things that people label themselves at that as that keeps them separate from each other that's not going to be a factor with this i see everyone uniting everyone coming together everyone as one the number one card so um is there anything else woman holding the heart yes so I'm feeling like it's just going to be love. Everyone working from a heart space. So I'm feeling like the divine feminine energy where we just love one another. It's like everything comes from the space of love. Everything. Okay, they're telling me to keep going with these cards. That's where they're trying to get you to. The third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Mm. This is like your passion, your will. It's like everyone's going to be willing to work. This is going to give people purpose. There's something about to happen. And I feel like everyone's going to be working from a pure energy where they're passionate about it. It's like everyone helping one another. Willingly, wanting to, being passionate about it and loving it. This is, wow, there's some type of event that's going to lead to a different way of interacting with each other. There's going to be more compassion. There's going to be more willingness to help. It feels like we're going to be actually truly, truly uniting. This feels big. Anything else? Second chakra, yep. So um, there's going to be a lot of um, pouring out. Like there might be a lot of crying. There's going to be a lot of healing. So it's going to lead to a lot of people doing a lot of healing work. Um, this is interesting. I got a message last night for my um, intuition group. So we meet tonight, guys. And... Um, I'm being reminded of a message I got for the group. Here. Um, so things are changing. It's no longer surface level. I'm feeling like, oh my gosh. Things are getting serious, but in a positive way. So many of you, there's about to be some changes. The globe, this feels like a global awakening and um, many have been on the path of awakening for a while. So you're anticipating something different. So depending on where you are on your journey, this may or may not affect you personally. Okay. 
So I feel like it's going to be something that everyone is going to be paying attention to and it's going to create unity around the world. There's a lot of togetherness here. And I mean, yesterday's message was about groups, organizations, your associations with people. Um, some of you are feeling led to certain groups. Some of you are being moved out of certain groups. This is divinely orchestrated. You're being moved into different places, different... Um, it's like learning different things from different people. Main male here. So I'm getting a masculine energy. Anything else? Bad health. So some of you may have a masculine energy who is dealing with illness. This may be telling you of a change in this person's condition that's about to uh, change how you view life. So I'm getting, um, as a collective, our masculine energy was ill, actually. It was dealing with a illness where it wasn't allowing the feminine energy to flourish. So it was like, um, if you gave Earth a characteristic trait, like the masculine energy of Earth, those on Earth, humans on Earth, the collective, the masculine energy was ill. It was dealing with like the feminine not being able to flourish. But I see a change in that. There's a change in that. To where even where like our masculine energy as a collective, as one, is shifting. Because it's allowing compassion. It's starting to have empathy. This is how we work together, where we can see ourselves in one another, no matter what's happening. So, yes, community. Working as a group, like this is coming together. This is interacting with people who are different and seeing yourselves in them, wanting to help because it feels right. This is working from the heart space. We have the privileged lady here. So this makes me feel like a philanthropist or someone who's has the means to help. Like there's going to be someone put in every place to help, like to give. So this feels like a wealthy woman who will be helping those less fortunate. That's what I'm getting here. I'm getting so much here. Anything else? Change is coming, y'all. There's a change happening. So a change is approaching. And this is something that may be on your mind. You may have had thoughts about this. They're saying what you're thinking it is. It may be pertaining to that. So, um... This may be something that's been on you, your mind for a while. The change that you're hoping for, that you've been wanting and you've been thinking about, it's in alignment with that here. Um, many are, have been asking for change, hoping for change. It's coming. There's a masculine here that has a feminine on their mind. So take 
this as it resonates. For some of you, this is an exact change happening in your life at a more um, micro level. Okay, as like a macro level, there's a major change happening for us as a collective. At a micro level, a change in your masculine energy, and I'm talking to male and female, okay? Um, the message is genderless, okay? So your masculine energy is now considering your feminine energy, is now thinking about your feminine energy, is now working from a more compassionate place where it's considering the other side of you. It's like, in a way, glorifying and um, honoring and seeing how important your feminine is. It's like putting it on a pedestal and treating it as royalty. And as the masculine, the sun actually represents the masculine energy. As the masculine changes and goes through this, because what's happening is a healing. So any bad health, any situation, illness is healed when the masculine starts to consider the feminine. So if this is happening in your private, like, like in your personal situations, right? Let's just say in the home, there's a situation happening. In order to heal this, you need to bring love into the situation. Be more compassionate. It heals the masculine. There's, there needs to be a coming together, a community, a unit unity and there needs to be like a passion in that like you have to feel it and you have to know that it's the right thing to do and you have to, there's like a wanting to do it because it just feels right here with the third chakra which is your solar plexus and i'm seeing a healing like a, a crying your second chakra this is the sacral chakra i'm, I'm seeing like a, a healing that's what I'm getting of your, it's like your desires are met because you do this. You bring in the change that you're wanting when you can honor your feminine energy and treat it as it's supposed to be. Don't ignore it. So if there's something telling you, you know, um, take care of yourself. If you're overworking, that's the masculine energy. Um, materialism, uh, con it's considering just your survival needs, right? I need to make money. I need to have shelter. I need, I need, I need. So it works, works, works. That's the masculine energy being ill. So when you honor the feminine, you will listen to your body when it says you can't work today, take today off. You have to take a break. Your knee is hurting. Your back is aching. You know, you feel ill. So this is telling you, listen to what your feminine is saying. Consider it. You know, this may be something that's been on your mind for a while. Take a break. Relax. So this is saying it brings in the change. It brings in the change. So let's see what else we're getting. You're ready on the split here. So there is some type of change about to happen. And you may be able to feel this. So there's things that may be in the dark that's going to come to light. Choose a new direction so people will have to make decisions that put them in a whole different direction in life. So I feel like this is something that can't be ignored. It's going to require people to start living differently, do things differently, choose new directions. So not the right time is here. Tell me more about this. So some of you, okay, you're wanting change. It's not the right time. You have to choose and you have to choose this change. 
as you start doing things differently, you choose a new direction, something happens. Tell me more. They're telling me get more information. So I'm going to um, get some tarot. Um, I think they're trying to get more specific for some of you. For somebody, they're trying to get somebody to choose a new direction. Okay, there's someone who wants to make a choice but they can feel that it's going to change their world and it's going to create a storm in their life. So they're not making it. They keep telling themselves it's not the right time. So I'm seeing a massive change that's going to require someone to face something that's been hidden or they haven't wanted to face. This feels, this feels important. It feels pressing. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, there's some kind of change that's about to happen. It's going to be out of your control. It's divine timing because you've been led. So this is for someone, you've been led to make this choice for a long time. And you kept saying it's not the right time. I am feeling strongly masculine energy. So this could be your masculine energy not taking the action that it's been called to take, which would put them in a new direction. So the change is here. So there's about to be a change a shift for you, whoever you are. I feel like I'm talking to someone here. It's going to cause you to have to make choices differently and move in a different way. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. Okay, the devil. So... If somebody is dealing with an attachment, an unhealthy attachment to something, um, that there's about to be some type of shakeup in your life that's going to cause you to have to detach from this thing that you feel obligated to. It's a person, a woman. I'm getting a woman. They're showing me a woman here. The Empress is here. So some of you, oh my gosh. Um, all right, I have to give the message the way I'm getting it. Some of you are in a relationship with the wrong person and you feel it. You know it. And uh, when I say the wrong person, it just means that the contract that you've had, it, it, it this expired a long time ago. So this is overdue. So it's wrong in the current time, not that they're wrong for you. you. They've already served their purpose. That's what is meant by wrong. And I think that's what I was picking up in yesterday's message. Something is overdue. I keep getting this, this woman. I'm getting someone who's okay. It's time to honor your feminine energy. She knows her worth. It's time for you to treat her, your feminine energy with the honor that it deserves. Your feminine energy is waking up. Some of you Someone specific, I feel like this might be one person. Um, there's a woman in your life who takes, it's like she has a certain kind of control over you. She uses her, 
femininity against you, or you may feel that. You may feel like she uses her beauty to get... Somebody is overtaken by someone. Okay. It's showing up as an unhealthy attachment. Okay. Let me keep going. I feel like, okay, so someone's being used here. Three of pentacles. This is like a loveless marriage, or it could be like a friendship, a platonic friendship. Someone who they, um, They're good for you in one way, but in the other way, they're not. This connect. This needs to be balanced. It's like they serve their purpose. They have a reason to be in your life. They serve a certain purpose. I feel like some type of invisible line was crossed. There may be an attraction to someone but you are married or you are already in a healthy connection with someone else, but your attraction to someone else is causing you to make decisions that might not be the best for you. So someone is, this is someone you, you're in a connection with someone that's more healthy than the connection you're considering to move to. Something was supposed to be short-term, temporary, but you are thinking about making it long-term and you might want to slow down. That's somebody's message, okay? Anything else? Soulmate, Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a strong, somebody's dealing with a strong soulmate. Oh my God, Six of Cups here. It's a past life connection. So someone's bamboozled or they feel overtaken by someone else's energy. Like they can't describe this strong attraction. It feels like someone's smitten by someone's beauty, feel a strong connection. So the masculine needs to balance that energy in order to make it healthy. Because it creates an imbalance. Someone's overtaken by another person here. The, the, the masculine, this card fell. Change, change. Change how you're seeing the situation. Change is necessary in some type of situation. King of Cups, the masculine. Somebody's in love here and they're not able to um, control their emotions for someone else. Some of you feminines, you may not be aware of this. Someone is like obsessed here. Someone's obsessed with you if you're feminine. You may not know this. This could be someone from your past who does is not expressing this. But I feel like there's going to be a change that occurs where it comes out here. This is making someone sick. Someone's overly thinking about another person. Mm 
Wow. They're trying to get a message out here to somebody. Because now I'm getting a whole different stream. And that's how they're delivering the messages now. Like they'll start with one storyline and move into another and move into another to make sure everybody can kind of get, just take what resonates for you, okay? All right, so my goodness, I feel like this is to be continued because there's so much unfinished emotion has not been expressed here. Some of you has changed someone in your life. This may have been a platonic relationship. And this could be somebody who you have you moved on from. And there's still something. There's still a connection to someone. Some of you, this could be a, someone from your past. I'm getting like past life. It may have been karmic. Someone broke the tie. The other person is still anything here. Okay, so we got something here pulled out. Look at the bigger picture. So there's a bigger picture to something that occurred in your life. Someone might not see the purpose of, of another person in their life. Seeing just the little details does not give you the whole thing. Like you're not going to get the lesson if you're just looking at minor details and what happened in a relationship. You need to see how it changed you. Somebody's realizing that someone from their past was what changed them. All right, some of y'all got a masculine in someone, a feminine who knew her worth has a masculine who has not let her go. It wasn't the right time. When you met them before, it was unhealthy. But as both people see the bigger picture, There's something here. Someone's wanting to come back here. I'm going to leave it here and then we'll pick up tomorrow because this is, um, it's like, it's not finished. Somebody, the masculine has a feminine on their mind and they're starting to realize it was the best thing ever for them. So, wow. No one compares to, to you or this person. And some of you are the masculine who's realizing this. They want you to look at the bigger picture, okay? All right, so that's the message. I'm gonna leave it there. I'll see you guys tomorrow.